Hello everyone! I hope you guys are doing well and having a great holiday season so far. That's right, it is that time of the year again. I love making holiday drinks at home just to put everyone in the Christmas spirit. There is nothing like sipping on a festive drink while decorating a Christmas tree. And if you have never tried to make a latte at home, you are in for a treat today because we are making toasted white chocolate mocha and eggnog latte. They are super easy to make and once you try them once you're gonna want to recreate them and make them all the time so before we get started on this video please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below hit that thumbs up and without further ado let's get started all right guys so we're gonna start with making our toasted white chocolate mocha and for this one you're gonna start first by making the chocolate sauce you can definitely use the store-bought one but i highly recommend you make your own because it's super easy and it's much more flavorful and for it you need some chocolate chip i'm using white chocolate chip you can also use like high quality chocolate squares if you wanted to and we also need some dolce de leche this is a milk based caramel i really like the flavor of this one despite the name of this drink we're not going to be actually toasting white chocolate the caramelized and nutty flavor is going to come from this sweet cream sauce so i highly recommend you use it if you cannot find it in your store this caramel sauce would work it's not gonna give you the same flavor but it's gonna be a very good substitute now in a small saucepan I'm going to add my white chocolate and to that I'm going to add my dulce de leche sauce add a pinch of salt this really brings out all the flavors and a little bit of milk now on a medium low heat we're going to melt down the chocolate and mix it together until we have a nice sauce consistency. So while I'm waiting for my chocolate to melt down, I'm going to foam up my milk and for this I'm going to use the wand on my espresso machine. If you don't have that, you can just use any regular milk frother. We just need to create steamed milk with a little bit of foam. Lastly, we're going to talk about the coffee. Typically, lattes are made with espresso, but if you don't have an espresso machine, you can just brew a strong cup of coffee with double the amount of coffee. Like, I would do a higher coffee to water ratio than a regular cup of coffee, just to mimic the intensity of an espresso coffee. But for me today, I'm going to use my espresso machine to brew out double shots of espresso. Alright guys, it is finally time to assemble our drink. I'm going to split this recipe in two small cups so I can enjoy it with my husband. So each one is going to get a little bit of white chocolate sauce. Next, I'm going to add one shot of espresso for each cup. Just make sure you mix it really good before we add the milk. Next, I'm going to add my milk. And for topping, I'm going to use some whipped cream. And to garnish, you can use whatever you like. You can use cinnamon, nutmeg, even crushed cookies if you want. But for me today, I'm going with these holiday sprinkles and a little bit of these white pearls. Cheers. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is so delightful. I know this for sure the one drink I'll be making again and again every season. I say just skip the long line at Starbucks and create this homemade version. It is so good, very quick and easy and it just tastes so delicious if not better than Starbucks. 
So moving on to the eggnog latte. Now I was very disappointed that Starbucks didn't have it on their menu for the second year in a row. So I decided to recreate it at home and make it because sure, I love peppermint mocha and white chocolate mocha. I love them all, but nothing gets us like in the holiday spirit quite like the combination of good old eggnog and espresso. It is literally the most iconic of all the holiday drinks and it's super easy to make actually. We just need two ingredients. We need eggnog and espresso and for eggnog I'm using this Altadena brand because I find it to be the creamiest but feel free to choose whatever brand you like. If you make your homemade eggnog, bonus points to you. But this is the one I'm using today. And for the eggnog, I'm going to actually use the steam one that I have on my espresso to warm it up a little bit. You can do this in a small size pan on your stove top, just to whisk it a little bit. And you don't want to bring it up to a boil. We just want to create a little bit of steam, a little bit of bubbles, because that's what makes lattes so special. So I'm going to start by warming up my eggnog. my eggnog is nice and hot, I'm going to pull out a double shot of espresso. Alright guys, so it is time to assemble our eggnog latte. First, I'm going to add my double shot of espresso. Now, I really find the eggnog to be so sweet on its own, so any additional sweetener is really unnecessary. Unless you really like very sweet latte, then feel free to add like a simple syrup or maybe honey. You know, real maple syrup is really a tasty option for this drink, so you can do that if you like. But for me today, I'm just gonna add my eggnog. How can you resist? creamy hot eggnog and bold coffee. I'm going to give it like a gentle stir. Now we're gonna top it with some whipped cream. And to garnish it, I'm using again some holiday sprinkles. And you know, a touch of nutmeg would go really well with this one. This latte is loaded, loaded with eggnog classic flavors. It is hard to believe that we only use two ingredients to make it. Just another reason why I love this recipe so much. Imagine how fun a Christmas morning will be. And wrapping Christmas presents and hanging out with loved one while you're sipping on something cozy like this. Oh. Now, this is very delicious as is but if you want to add an extra dose of holiday fun i recommend you add some liquor in here maybe rum brandy i have this scotch bottle i can use that you can use baileys whatever you like so you can add maybe like a teaspoon a shot however much you like Now, of course, it is perfectly fine without the liquor, but I feel this is how you can have lots of fun with this drink. You can make different eggnog lattes by switching up the liquor you use because you can do Baileys, Kahlua, Brandy, Cognac, whatever you like. I find this as very delicious flavor and it really balances out all the sweetness from the eggnog and it just adds that very festive touch. It's a great for a Christmas party. But that does it for this video, guys. These are two of our favorite lattes we are enjoying this season. I hope you try them. It is really fun to switch up your morning coffee to one of these festive drinks or just, you know, make it and enjoy it while you're wrapping Christmas presents or just, you know, to celebrate and spread some holiday cheer but that does it for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please thumbs it up consider subscribing and i'll see you next time bye bye